so, you know, no power, no problem, y'all. You know. Woke up without no power. What's up, y'all? Good morning, good morning. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, Monday morning. It's the third. And uh, I'm going over here to the parts place to get the part. Uh, they do not, like I thought, they do not have the uh, just the aluminum piece. All they got is the, uh, the whole thing. And uh, it's not as expensive from my dealer, believe it or not, as it is from partstree.com. So, uh, it's like $150 total, you know, probably about 160 after tax. So I woke up this morning, we didn't have no power and the whole area is out of power. Uh, that's what happens when it gets a little bit cold. So on the mower, there's a few things that I didn't really talk about last night. So on the mower, uh, of course, I'm going to get it back on the, on the, uh, the deck back on the mower today. Uh, also, for that mower uh, and for any other Xmark mower that I buy in the future, uh, I'm going to buy, I'm also going to buy a set of the, uh, the tractor's tires for that mower. So that mower is going to be a, a damn, uh, you know, a, a nice, a nice mower, you know, at least for another season. And the and the reason I can justify the twill tires, well, number one is because, well, to me they're worth it. And number two, uh, any mower that I buy moving forward is probably going to be an X mark, you know, Laser Z. I'll probably buy another one because they they've been good to me, and you know, so why not? And if I buy one and I sell that one, then or I keep it as backup. I won't have twill tires on it. I'll put the new. I'll put the twill tires on the new mower. But I'm not thinking about selling that mower or anything right now. I'm not thinking about doing anything but just making it last another season or two, if I can. You know, you never know. Uh, but the twill tires will go on any of my mowers that I buy. You know, so. I can't take the ones off the Ferris and put it on the x mark because the Ferris is a five love, the x mark is a four love. I mean, I could probably figure out a way to do it, but I ain't going through all that. Uh, yeah, man. All right, y'all. I just left the dealer, Jack Peaks over here in Palmetto, Georgia. Uh, yeah, man. So I got the pulley. I mean, not the pulley. I got the arm, and uh, I went on and bought a belt because I don't know how deformed that belt could be. You know, uh, it'll be a good uh, backup belt to have uh, when an, a belt breaks. So, uh, so y'all see, I got the arm. I had to buy the whole kit and caboodle. I uh, don't really like, I didn't want to do that, but you know, I did. So I had to, man. Uh, this was $160. And the belt, the brand new belt. And I never, just FYI, y'all, I never buy the X Mark belt. The X Mark belt are uh, about $135 or $40 from, from my mower. And, uh, the same company that makes them makes make, makes this aftermarket belt too. Uh, the only difference that I have noticed is the packaging. That's it. Uh, these right here, this belt was ninety nine dollars. So, you know, everything has went up. Uh, you know, usually the aftermarket belt was like seventy nine dollars, and the uh, uh, the Xmar OEM belt was like one hundred and twenty dollars. But so it appears 
that everything has gotten a little more expensive. So uh, it's going to be reflected in my numbers uh, going forward next year. Uh, so this is it, man. The whole thing, man, bolts and all. So, you know, I'm not in the market for a new mower. So I'm not going to buy one this year. We, uh, this year, I make goals for each year, y'all, uh, I, I, and I wonder if you guys do that too. And they're not written in stone, but they're always in my head. And since I've been doing a little bit, of, you know, since I do YouTube, uh, I try to bring my thoughts out in the videos uh, instead of just keeping them in, uh, because a lot of times I might do things, and 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 some of you guys that watch the videos might say, "Well, what the hell? Why'd you do that?" You know, and most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, there's a reason why I do stuff. Uh, I'm not going to be buying a mower this year because I don't think I'll need one. Of course, if a mower goes down, then I'm, I'll be ready. But my goal is to make it through this season without buying a mower. You know. Uh, and the next mower that I buy, unless I get some kind of deal from from some uh, uh, unforeseen way, it's going to be an Xmark Laser ZX series, and it's going to be a brand new one. It's going to be a 35 horsepower. You know, I think, and this is my opinion, I think the 35 horsepower fuel injected engines, no matter who makes them, 37 horsepower, 35 horsepower, I think that is uh, all you really need. You know when it comes to uh, power for a lawnmower you know I know that they got a lot of companies and they're boasting these 40 horsepower mowers and all and you know uh, more power the better I guess but uh, 40 horsepower for a lawnmower is pretty is, is, is pretty powerful I don't know that you need all that power. I guess it would be according to what the unit costs. Uh, like to me, the difference in a 35 horsepower and a 40 horsepower on a lawnmower, if the difference is more than a thousand dollars, it wouldn't be worth it to me. You know, a 40 horsepower might last longer, uh, but it might not either. Uh, I don't know how much more torque you're really getting because everything goes through the electric clutch and all so I don't really know how all that works uh, how much more power uh, are you getting as far as mowing power so I'm home I got the part uh, here's the part right here I'm fixing to stick it on the mower real quick uh, stick it on the deck now I'm gonna put the deck on the mower uh, everything's ready uh, I just gotta, well, I just gotta do what I do, man. Uh, and we're gonna see how how good this works or don't work or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna put y'all on time. I'll put y'all on the uh, on the tripod, and I'm gonna put y'all on time lapse, man. All right.
trying to hear some Rocky music. That's a rap right there, dog. Da -da -da -da. Gauges nice and clean. Yeah. Well, let's hop off of it and check it all out. Try to make sure everything is uh, going right. Da -da -da. That's going right in there like it's supposed to. Alright, so let's engage it. Put it on medium. So y'all see it, uh, and it is what it is, y'all. Y'all see it, so uh, makes you feel it feels pretty good to get this thing back up and running. Uh, everything looks great uh, so far, so good. Of course, I only ran it about 15 minutes, but I'm going to cut all of this, y'all. So. Yeah. Uh but uh step out your comfort zone, y'all. Just push a little harder each day. Each time something happens, just push a little harder. And the next thing you know, you've overcome. I mean, you can overcome anything if you really try, you know. I'm not special or uniquely talented or anything. I am, uh, I'm just a, a regular guy, just like you. 
started from nothing and uh though this is not you know the plateau of my life it's a big deal and if you look back over my videos for the last two years that i've been doing videos you'll see that there's been many points in the business in the expenses and where i have taken on things that i'm not so comfortable with you know uh maybe one day I'll, I'll be comfortable doing the engines and stuff and and be able to to uh to work on an engine i've always just been of the mindset that by the time the engines go up, get to the point of where they need new valves and new head and all that i'll just buy another engine or another mower that's the way i've always done it uh i've never paid a mechanic to work on the actual engine uh not yet now I, I probably would have uh that last time this thing went in the shop but uh i didn't have to but you know just just know that you can do whatever you put your mind to man and it doesn't have to be lawn care this is just you know it can be anything man you know a lot of the guys are coming in the comments saying man uh you know you take you some time off blah 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 i mean how many jobs have uh, I've never had jobs where you know I was home uh, the week before Christmas and the week after Christmas I mean I've been home for the like the last 10 days you know and uh, so you know I've spent plenty of time with family uh, during the course of me doing this deck uh, this is a perfect timing and all uh, you know to work on the lawn mowers uh, so I don't have to I'm not I don't have to do it all in one day I come out here and I spend a couple hours a day not and not even every day working on this thing and getting this thing on point and uh, now that it's back I'm so happy I did it you know uh, there was there was a little part of me not a very big, but a little part of me that, was, that, that that really thought about going and buying another deck. So, uh, and it would have been worth it. And I mean, it would have been worth, this mower would have been worthy of that, right? But y'all see it, how good it cut, man. I mean, I mean, it cuts great. I knew it would. Well, I felt like it would, you know. Uh, only time will tell how uh, how everything holds up but you know you guys are along for the ride just like me so if something happens and it breaks for whatever reason uh, I, if, I, if it comes back that I did something wrong I don't know what I could have done wrong but if there comes back that I did something wrong then uh, you know I will uh, tell you guys you know I'll show you guys so you know just at the end of the day, it, it, it's it's about the three thousand dollars that I saved, but it's also about learning and evolving and growing and being more today than I was yesterday. So now I can put that in my uh, resume uh, of things that I have done, and though grand scheme of life, it's not anything, you know not nothing on the grand scheme of life but in my little business here it's a big deal and it makes me feel real good to be able to do these type of things and it gives you the feeling of unstoppable that's what it does I'm freaking unstoppable out here I will not be denied I uh, will not let my business fail I will persevere through whatever obstacles get in the way by doing the next logical thing it's that simple a lot of times we get you know uh, into the rush rush hush rush 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 of you know getting this done getting this done getting that done getting this done and uh, fixing this and fixing that and we make poor decisions because we are frantic you guys will see as you grow in your business and you and you're doing the same thing year after year that a lot of that jitteriness and nervousness it'll all go away and it will be 
well, it'll all go away and you'll be left with thoughts of confidence, of, uh, you know, no you can mentality. Uh, and that's where I'm at, you know. Uh, you know, cutting grass is not a big deal. Anybody can do it, right? But can't anybody just do it, uh, do it and make good money at it? You know, they might be able to make good money at it, but it costs a lot, too, if you don't watch out. So, uh, to all you guys that are starting out and, you know, are a little frustrated, don't worry, man. Just keep rolling with it, dude. Keep rolling with it. Be getting your equipment ready right now. Be, be slowly but surely getting your equipment ready for the spring. So, when you hit the spring, you're ready to roll. See, the, getting this deck on this mower and getting it done correctly... I'm ready to roll. Now I'm ready to invest in some uh, twill tires for this mower. And get it ready for next season. I don't have to do the twill tires today or tomorrow. I'm able to sit back, take a breath, and just, and just not worry. Because I'm proactive in what I do. You must be proactive to be self-employed can't wait and let things pile up on you uh, you know for instance if, if if something breaks in my house say I don't know say the washer machine breaks you know or the dryer breaks or the dishwasher breaks or something I am Johnny on spot I'm gonna assess what's going on I'm gonna see if it's something that makes sense for me to fix I'm gonna price new washer dryers or dishwashers and uh, I'm going to get it fixed. Fixed, replaced, one or the other. Uh, but most of the times on things like that, I just get, I just replace it. Uh, because, well, you have to weigh what how old things are and stuff. But the point I'm trying to make is don't let things break in your business and you not be Johnny on the spot and fix them. Don't wait to fix one thing because then something else is going to break. Next thing you know, you've got a list of broken shit. I don't have a list of broken shit because when shit breaks or shit gets to the point of where I can't deal with it no more, I fix it or, or move on from it, one or the other. Uh, usually uh, in today's day and age and uh, with me uh, you know, being in business so long, I usually fix it, usually. And that's another reason why I like the same mowers. I can't emphasize that enough. I know I dog skag out and blah blah blah, but the skag's okay mower. I mean, I mean, I, I you know, it, it it cuts good, you know. But why would I go and buy a totally different mower when y'all see how comfortable I am working on these X marks? It ain't like any of the mowers are any better than the X marks, you know. Skag X mark Ferris, you know, right. All these mowers, they're top-notch mowers. If I had started out with a Skag, then I probably would like Skag more. If I had started out with a Wright, I probably would like Wright more. I like the mowers that I am accustomed to, not only from an operator standpoint, but from a maintenance standpoint and from a fixing standpoint. So now I know, well, it, when something goes wrong on the other mower, I can fix it on the deck and everything. And vice versa, and vice versa. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to get hardly a better a, a better mower. What mowers are better than the Skag and the X Mark? Yeah, there's there's mowers out there that are uh, right there with them that I might not have named, but they ain't no better. <laughs> you know, they might be a little bit cheaper, but they ain't no better. You know, one thing about a Skag and an X Mark mower, y'all, and I know everything, you know, that they're pricey. One thing about it is that they're durable as hell. This lawnmower deck is almost 10 years old. This lawnmower deck has made over $250,000 for Ray in the course of 10 years or nine years or whatever. And y'all see what it looks like now. Y'all see how it cuts. I ain't changed the spindles. I ain't do nothing but just weld on it and paint it. Put some new baffles in there. 
And this thing cuts like a million bucks, man. So, I know I'm kind of all over the place. So I'm a little bit giddy, y'all, I got to say, about fixing the deck, you know, and not having to spend a bunch of money. So, let's do the numbers here real quick. So, the, uh, where's my popo police neighbor? So, the, uh, I love my popo neighbor. Love, I love my neighbor. He's cool. So, the numbers here. So, uh, a new deck was going to be 3K plus tax, plus shipping. I ended up spending about 13 hours, okay, $250 for the baffles, another uh, $250 for the, uh, the, the idler pulley and mechanism, and the new belt. And I got still got the other, but the old belt that was on it, which is going to be a spare belt now. So I have two extra belts for this X Mark mower. Now, why would I go buy a different mower when I got belts and everything for these mowers? See, it doesn't make no sense to have five different name brand mowers in my garage. It doesn't make no sense. That's not that's to me. That's not, not good business. Uh, now, if the mowers were inferior, well, then you know you're gonna have to you know step to where you need to step to to get a uh, you know a, a good commercial mower that's easy to work on and you don't go down on it. And that's where I'm at, man. I am. Uh, these mowers are not nothing wrong with them, y'all. I mean, and y'all see? Look, let me show you. Let me show you. Look. I want you to see that. I want y'all to see. Make sure we can see that. Twenty-seven hundred. Twenty-seven. Twenty-nine. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight point five. And the decks like new, and the engines like new. It's time to go make some money with this thing, man. So now we're going. We're going to uh, put some. Uh, uh, some top some top notch fuel in it and we're going to put some uh, save fuel stuff in it and we're going to park it and it's going to be ready for next year and another season with this mower uh, I foresee this mower making it two more seasons three more seasons hell it might make it five or six you know it might because I got enough mowers now to where I don't have to use it every day. But this engine on this thing is, I mean, y'all, y'all see, man. Y'all see.